Thank you. I do hope it's not too loud. We're quite a loud band, but, uh, but it's fine. I just hope the live stream people are home. There's not distortion. So we need to, uh, hopefully the microphones are being quite generous to the band. But before we go on, I like to, uh, I went onto the Savage Army website and um, I found a video about what the Savage Army are doing in Ukraine. And uh, if you don't know about anything about the Savage Army, then go on to savagearmy.org and tell you army does and um, so Anthony please press play That's just a small clip of what the army is doing to support the surrounding countries where the Ukraine uh, people are, are trying to find safe uh, homes, etc. So, um, but so I'll, I'll repeat, we've got the QR code on your program and uh, on the screens, and, uh, but I'm sure at the end, if you do have any spare change, then there'll be collection plates at the end of this concert. But say, we are doing it for free. And, uh, and I don't think, I haven't told the treasurer, I'm not going to take a penny. I'll normally get paid for doing, uh, on, but I'm not doing it for this. So, uh, so I'm just so blessed and pleased that I've been able to be here to bring you a concert. So uh, anyway, let's go to our next item on your programme. Bit of Breezing Down Broadway by uh, Gough Richards. It's a medley of uh, Broadway show tunes, including another opening, another show, there's no business like show business. Uh, get me to the church on time, Oklahoma, that's entertainment, and 76 trombones. And, um, but one of the pieces, that the reason why I chose this piece, we used it, um, I think I used it with another band uh, through last season, and uh, one of the pieces that really hit home to me is the fact that um, the late Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth II, that was her favourite piece of music. And uh, when um, some retired Gars musicians got together, they actually got a message through to Her Majesty to ask, what was your favourite piece? And uh, it was Oklahoma. So they performed that for a concert, and uh, which was live streamed, and Her Majesty did watch it, so, uh, which I was quite touched about. So hence why I decided to bring Breezing Down Broadway to you this evening. It's, a bit, it's got a variety, we all know the tunes, so if you want to sing along, then please do.
Well, I hope you enjoyed some uh, songs from the shows. So, uh, God, yeah. can we turn the heating off? No? God, it's so hot up here. <laughs> we always complain when... Oh, no, I'm not taking my jacket off. Trust me. No, anyway. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we're going to feature our first soloist um, of the uh, evening, and it's our principal cornet, Joseph Pickard. And he's going to bring to you a lovely uh, cornet <laughs> solo, and it's a piece of music called uh, Song of Hope by Peter Meachin. And Song of Hope is dedicated, um, uh, dedicated Ryan Anthony, uh, principal trumpet with the Dallas Symphony, Orchestra and his charity, Cancer Blows, a foundation set up to raise awareness and money to further the research that help give their family a hope for a future following Ryan's diagnosis. Upon hearing the middle movement, simple titled song um, of Peter Meachin's Cornet uh, Concerto Milestone, Ryan asked Peter if he could change the end from its current reflective ending to something more uplifting and to title it Song of Hope, giving it much more meaning than he could ever imagined. So ladies and gentlemen, to bring to you Song of Hope, Joseph Pickard.
I'm lost for words. <laughs> we are a bit of a family band, and I'm going to try and introduce you to some of our uh, members of the band who have got a family in there. But uh, Joseph Picard has been supporting this band. We lost a, um, a few players that decided to, um, to, to leave uh, a few months ago. And uh, Joseph currently plays soprano with the Medway Band. And uh, a few of you may have been here before, and uh, when Medway came to the concerts, and he was playing uh, Son of Cornet with them, and he's been supporting us. But at the same time, um, as I said, his, uh, his brother comes along sometimes and plays trombone, and, and also, for the first performance with our band this evening, his sister, Hannah, is playing second horn this evening. <laughs> She'll probably kill me for mentioning her, but never mind. I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it on. So, um, but there you go. But, and also, he's been at Trinity all day today. Playing. Oh, yeah, so, he's rushed down from Greenwich to be here this evening to play to you. So, that's, he's got lips of still. So, um, anyway. So, a round of applause to uh, Joseph again. <laughs> Here at BAE, we like to play everything. We like to play cheese, which I call cheese. And, uh, and over, the, over the past few months, a guy called Christopher Bond, uh, no relation to James Bond, I'm afraid, but, uh, but he's from Wales, and he transcribes lots of uh, music from uh, wind band to brass band. And he's done a lot, and there's a few pieces we're going to use this evening. But, uh, but we all like a bit of Whitney Houston. I'm not too sure. Even Ian Payne loves it. So he'll be dancing in front of the, the mercy seat, I'm sure. But, uh, but, um, but Whitney Houston. I don't think I've ever heard a brass band play Whitney Houston in this building. I know Chatham Band hasn't played in this building, so it could be a first. So uh, who knows? But 10 years ago, with the world mourned the loss of the legend Whitney Houston, we also celebrate her legacy of marvellous music. So we are going to bring you to a well-paced and effective medley of hits. That includes How Will I Know, Saving All My Love For You, I Want To Dance With Somebody, and I Will Always Love You. So ladies and gentlemen, tribute to Whitney Houston.
Hope you enjoyed it. Whitney Houston. And uh, now we're going to take you to our next soloist. And um, I do, I, I say to the band, if they want to play a solo, then please, uh, I, you know, they can uh, choose what they want. I think I chose Joseph's solo. And I'll say to Joseph, you can play anything else after that one. That's fine. But, um, but I'm going to introduce you to, uh, is, is it, no, it's Sunday tomorrow. It's Phil Neve today. It's Philip Neve tomorrow. And, uh, and he came up to me and said, I'd love to play Such Love um, here at Chatham. And I thought, I'd love that. Because uh, Such Love um, was arranged um, by one of our very own, Richard Phillips. And, um, and I'm sure he did it with Chatham Sally Army Band. And, uh, and I think it was before my time when I was in the band here. But, um, but I did say to... Richard Phillips' mum, Pat, uh, the other weekend ago, to say that we're playing it tonight. And he said, and she said, guess what? ISS are up in Bexley Heath. So I'm going there, and Richard Phillips is there. So never mind. But we're going live on YouTube, so I do hope Pat will see this as another point. So, uh, but to play such love, may I please welcome Philip Neve. Wasn't he good? <laughs> and do you like his trousers? <laughs> Quite lost. Well, well, they cheap ones from Asda about, ones. about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> he arrived and he, he forgot his trousers. He's done it before. I didn't but... think the house without them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I know. Mum and Dad, what's going on? You know, <laughs> no change. <laughs> Philip and I go back a long way. We Obviously, kind of, we're roughly the same age, I think slightly younger than me, but uh, we were at music school together through the Salvation Army. So, uh, but there's another, another family connection within our um, band. And uh, Philip Neve is married to our 
flugelhorn player Penny. So, uh, so it's good to have you both with us. And uh, yeah, anyway, no more about them. <laughs> yeah, I think we, we went to Broadstairs uh, this year at summer and he turned up without a shirt. So, um, well, you had to go and buy a new one though, didn't you? Right, I need to stop talking because otherwise you'll be here all evening. So, um, if you want to stay here overnight and stay for the sermon tomorrow, then um, I don't recommend it. Anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> we're going to play to you a lovely piece of music called uh, I'll Walk With God. It's a popular song written for the motion picture The Student Prince and uh, in, published in 1954. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy this lovely piece of music, I'll Walk With with God.
Thank you. Just seeing the time. It's going really quickly. And I uh, hope you're enjoying what we're bringing to you this evening. And uh, now we're, we're on to the, the highlight of my evening, I think, the piece of music which I, I enjoy. And, um, and uh, yeah, so Fire in the Blood by Paul Oliver Cooper. Uh, it was commissioned by Dr. Steve Cobb for the 120th anniversary of the ISB, uh, the Salvation Army. The piece was composed for the celebration concert where the International Star Band were joined by several other bands from around the world to perform uh, independently to sell out capacity crowd at Britain's most famous concert hall, the Royal Albert Hall. The Find the Blood received its world premiere at the ISB 120 concert on June the 4th, 2011. Paul Oliver Cooper has used three worship songs in this piece, opening with our own Richard Phillips' uh, setting of Psalm 95, Sing for Joy, then Howard Davies' um, emotive song me melody, Lord, you know that we love you. And then finally, uh, Laurie Klein's uh, worship song, I Love You, Lord. I was very fortunate to record this with the Ian Samson Star Band when I was there on one track of their album, uh, Fire in the Blood. So uh, I have my name in that album. So I'm really passionate and really pleased. But I'm really pleased I'll be able to bring my band to, he to here this evening to play this to you. So I hope you enjoy Paul Over Cooper's Fire in the Blood. And then we'll take a very short interval.
Thank you. <laughs> well, we're going to take a short interval. It says 15 minutes, but we could be here all night. So make it five or 10, whatever. But we'll come up to the platform and uh, we'll start playing. So uh, see you in a few moments.
Well, welcome, welcome back, and I hope the viewers at home on YouTube are, uh, are still there and are on their sofas, putting their feet up with a cup of coffee, I'm sure, and uh, other drinks are available. And uh, sorry, yeah, it's not in this building. But uh, anyway, um, I hope you're refreshed. We're going to start our second half with a good uh, piece of music, which I think is amazing. Obviously, because I chose it. Um, a fanfare of praise by Robert Redhead. It features the, uh, the hymn tune, Ascalon. So we do hope you enjoy this piece. Thank you. My dad told me I talk too much, I waffle too much, 
and I thought, pot kettle, he's just like me. I'm just like him, so uh, tough. Anyway, we hope, we hope you enjoy that fanfare of praise and a uh, good Salvation Army piece of music. We're now going to bring you some uh, music from The Sound of Music. I'm sure you know all the tunes from there. But we're going to play to you a lovely arrangement of Climb Every Mountain. And it's been arranged for band by um, Philip Harper, who is the musical director, I think it's probably the world's uh, the best brass band, okay? So, Corey. So, ladies and gentlemen, Climb Every Mountain, arrange Philip Harper. different an arrangement of climb every mountain to what you're probably expecting 
So I hope you enjoyed Phil Harper's Climb Every Mountain. Now we're going to feature the best section of the band. Mum, you should, you should be cheering as well, Mother. Come on. Jeez, here we go. But, you going home here? Eh? Oh. <laughs> well, we're going to feature our trombone section. And uh, let me introduce the trombones to you. On first trombone, we have Alan Bristow. Beautiful. Second trombone, we have my fiance, Charlotte. <laughs> Sorry, Charlotte Kamies. And on bass trombone, some guy called Nigel Lockwood. <laughs> See, I'd give them more than a uh, chance to shine, but anyway. But uh, we do hope you enjoy. Sister Act is getting very popular at the moment out in the West End. I really want to see it. And uh, so, but I keep watching clips on YouTube from Sister Act over the years, and this song keeps popping up. So, do hope you enjoy. Gough Richards, uh, I will follow him. Weren't they amazing? Yes, good. No, you can't say that. Oh, jeez. Oh, Here we go. Next one. Near and my God to thee. 
I went to a brass band contest, I always do every year, up in Butlins, up in Skegness, and listened to uh, some, uh, some former members of Grindthorpe Colliery Band, and this is the piece they played, uh, Nero Magad to Thee. It's arranged for brass band by Mike Kilmartin. It's a 19th century Christian hymn which retells a story from Genesis. The hymn was also used by other composers like uh, Carl Nilsson and Charles Ives and was played by the string ensemble on the movie Titanic, When the Vessel Sank. I do hope if we play this tonight, the building won't fall down. <laughs> anyway, this arrangement is based on the beautiful BYO choir version. If I, I, I sent it to the band on WhatsApp a few months ago and said, listen to this, and absolutely amazing. So if you get to, just type in BYO choir and near my God to you'll enjoy it 100%. So ladies and gentlemen, Near my God to thee. I hope you recognise that hymn, and uh, absolutely lovely hymn indeed. Before, I should have said, our principal trombone player, uh, um, Alan Bristow, his daughter is in the band playing Rep Cornet, Abby, you alright? So, she seems very happy to be here. <laughs> what would you normally be doing on a Saturday night? I'm not going to ask. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. 
Um, on a concert, uh, most concerts, or if you listen to a brass band, you can guarantee you'll listen or hear James Bond. And uh, was it last year, or oh, can't remember, these, these years gone very quickly, but No Time to Die came up on the screen. It was uh, Daniel Craig's last portrayal of uh, James Bond. And uh, if you haven't seen it, then, uh, then I'm sure you get to download it or stream it on Netflix or wherever. But, uh, the, but this has been arranged uh, by a guy called Michael Brown um, from the States, but has been transcribed for brass band by, yet again, Christopher Bond. He tends to find all the great pieces of music that the wind bands have, uh, have used, and he's conferred to them over so the brass band such as us can play. So ladies and gentlemen, no time to die. I'm so lucky with the musicians I have behind me and uh, I'm truly blessed by what I'm standing here and uh, I took over as musical director back in March um, and I did it through halfway through the pandemic. Um, I took it as an interim period because our last musical director, David Chapman, who was here, absolutely superb, he worked with uh, Kaz, uh, who goes to, a, goes to a church here, but David Chapman went up, back up to uh, Manchester way to go back to work as head music uh, of a private school. So, um, so I went for the job here and I'm so blessed that I can do it. 
And um, so, but weren't they brilliant? Absolutely brilliant, thank you. I love being here because I get to choose all my favourite pieces. Sometimes in the second half, it's been very loud, so I apologise for that, but I don't apologise for my own point because I loved it. I absolutely love the music. But So we're going to bring to you a, a nice power ballad now. It's a piece of music um, called Starlight, and, um, and it was written um, by uh, Pete Meachin, who did Song of Hope. And um, he's, uh, he, he thinks he's living over in Canada now, um, doing lots of great work. And for, you know, for orchestras and bands and so, so forth. But this power ballad was, was originally written for the Canadian trumpet star Jens Lindemann, and it was composed by Pete Meachin. So I hope you enjoy Starlight. <laughs> Rest your ears. Please say nice things. Please say nice things. <laughs> Anthony, wake up. Thank you. Good. Good evening, everybody. My name is Major Ian. I'm responsible for the Salvation Army here, and I'm delighted to be able to be here this evening. And really grateful to you, David, and BAE Systems, 
for bringing some great music. It's such a wide variety. My piece for the night, there's always going to be a piece for the night, and everybody has one. Joseph, you take Gold Cup tonight, all right? I really enjoyed Song of Hope. That was really a blessing for me. Thank you for that. I think he deserves another round of applause yeah. since I've chosen you. Not to, not to say that the trombones weren't good, but that's not to say they weren't good, okay? But it was just a great, a great evening. It really is, and I'm grateful for you, David. And we are celebrating nearly 150 years of Salvation Army here in Chatham. And if you look at the back of the stairs, you'll see that band, the first picture, or one of the first very pictures, 1883. So music has been synonymous to this, to this town and to this building for all that time, well, 1890 when we came into here. So there's always been brass bands in here, and we're delighted to invite you in to be here and be a part of our fellowship and our family here, and we're really, really grateful. So thanks for tonight, and we hope it's not the last time. You know, really, we, the, the Pethy Bridges, who are the colonels responsible for the Salvation Army in Ukraine, they're working on the Moldova border at the moment. They're friends of my wife, so she knows them fairly well. And the general had to instruct them to come home to have a rest halfway through the year because they were absolutely so worn out of what they're doing and there's hundreds of organizations rotary um, uh, salvation army other groups that are plowing aid into that and they need it and the people don't want to leave their country they want to stay on the border so the border countries all along there they're absolutely inundated with care and for people so they need the support so I've, I've gone into the just giving there's 20 pound being given so I think there's a few more need to flick onto that one okay and <laughs> give a bit more money you'd pay a lot of money to hear this band really well maybe not no you would <laughs> if you went for a concert well how much do you pay for a concert these days but of course secretary you go to loads of concerts well you don't pay your wife will wouldn't you Half a crown, yeah, that's about <laughs> right. Yeah, I won't say what I'm thinking because it's not allowed, it's not politically correct, and you know that I am. But an evening like this would cost you money, and I really want you to give to that. There's not a penny that will go to anything else apart from the Ukraine and the Salvation Army. We'll put it over to the Petherbridges, to Carl over there, Calvin, sorry, over in, in Moldova to support the work that's going in that area. But really grateful, great for you guys, I'm sure, to get together and have fellowship. But you've blessed us in that right sense. Music has been a part of life. You know, everybody has got music in them somewhere. It's just finding out where it is and using it. It could be singing, it could be playing. It could be so many ways. And, it, and it's a joy when we sit and listen. So thank you very much, BA Systems. David, great to have you as part of our family here and a friend of mine. Really grateful for that. So can you just show your appreciation to BA Systems? Thank you. Thank you. Every concert that I do, if you're on social media, then you know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> Selfie is a big thing on, on Facebook. And if you don't mind me for two seconds, just indulge me, okay? Just let me take a quick selfie of my band, and hopefully, if you allow me to, take a selfie of you. If you don't want to be a part of it, then just shut your eyes, and uh, that's fine. But for me, I've loved this evening. I've, I've played in my home church, and this is one thing that I've always wanted to do here. So, uh, and I get to bring this band with me. I hope we can come here next year. I would like to do a concert with the, song, the band here and do something here with this core, because we celebrate 150 years. So the band don't know it yet. I'd like to put a, put a request in for next year. We shall see what happens. So bandmaster, Get yourself sorted out, we'll, we'll do something. Anyway, a moment for my time, really. It's just a. This is from. Okay, here we go. I, I always get in trouble because I can't fit everyone in. And I always miss out. I always miss out Pete Steer. <laughs> right, there you go. Ian Brensley, smile, can you? <laughs> right, middle. Oh. Penny Lambert, you've got a smile. And this end. Oh, gee, there we go. Andy Toby, he's, uh, he's hiding. That's fine. <laughs> but you can smile, Andy, he's fine. <laughs> right, fuck it. There we go. Can you all wait for me? That's good. Let's get this end. This, oh, look at this. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry? 
I don't embarrass anyone apart from my brother, who's probably not watching this anyway. We're going to finish the concert in, uh, in a quite loud way. And uh, we've done that for the second half. I hope the band's chops are, in, are, are OK. I'm not going to apologise. They can take a tomorrow off and we're back to rehearsal at <coughs> BAE Systems on Monday. But we, before we go any further, we've been out of our building uh, for, since the pandemic because BAE, would, uh, we weren't able to go there. And uh, so now they've opened their doors again and we're allowed back in because all our music's there, all our instruments there. So we'll be very pleased and be back on Monday night. Anyway, we, you, we've all seen Hairspray and uh, we all like You Can't Stop the Beat, which is the, one of the finale numbers of the show. So ladies and gentlemen, you've been a great audience. If you clap loud enough, we may have one more, but we shall see. But it's, it's on your merit only. So you can't stop the beat. Do you mind us playing one more? Yeah. Ignore the court, uh, the, oh, they call, they call him cause like major, the motor limb. But uh, anyway, major pain. We will play another one if that's all right with you. It's, uh, it's called the Big Top. I'm not going to explain it because uh, I'm sure you want to go home and I'm sure I want to go home as well. So the Big Top by Paul Lovett Cooper. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. Good night. God bless. Hope it's a safe journey home. Hope to see you soon. Play the rolling credits, Anthony. Thank you.